What is up everybody? It's the Inhuman One here with part 5 of the Elden Ring level 1 playthrough. This is not a soul level 1 playthrough as we have become accustomed to saying. This is just a level 1 playthrough. And I want to go ahead and show you guys my stats really quickly. I am level 1. Uh, I have 16 Vigor, 15 Endurance, Strength, and Dexterity. And that is because I'm using Radigan's Sore Seal. And I also have 16 Vigor, that's plus 1 from the 15 because I have the Crimson Hood on. And it's just more so for aesthetics. The, ad the additional Vigor does absolutely nothing for survivability. I just like to look sexy while I'm doing awesome things. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to head over to the Draconic Tree Sentinel, which I discovered on my other playthrough. So that is what we're going to be heading to right now. Um, and once we do that, we're going to defeat said Draconic Bro. Also, you know, I'm going to take it kind of slow. I'm going to explore a few things as well. Um, I've, this is, again, what I consider to be my practice run. When I do my actual level 1 run, it's going to be incredibly crispy. The routing and the path is going to be very efficient. I am literally forming this and doing this as we play. Every single part of this is essentially being winged or improvised. So I just want you to understand that and appreciate it, actually, because I'm just coming up with this on the fly. This is by no means nothing that I have researched or optimized. I don't know of the most effective weapons or anything like that. I'm just going off of my knowledge of the game uh, after like a hundred and some, some odd hours. I have not beaten the game yet either. Um, so I'm going to progress gradually. And then once we finally get through it all, uh, we'll be able to, you know, go ahead and optimize the run a little bit, make some tweaks in the build, and then just execute the plan. And it'll be excellent. I wonder how much damage I even do to these guys. I just want to tag the side of grace, but at the same time I want to test out my strength. Yeah, I'm still very damn strong. <laughs> even though I'm level 1. That's okay if I die though. We're right at the side of grace, so I'll teleport there. And then we should be good to go. We'll get our runes back and everything. So it's going to be a matter of not getting hit. The Draconic Tree Sentinel will probably kill me in one hit essentially making this a hitless run so um, from this point forward we're gonna have to pretty much go without getting tagged at all Quizador says hi what's up Quizador how you doing I guess we could grab the runes I don't see why not we'll see what we can purchase from this guy as well again this is a run that I would like to at least beat the game and then come back and do all of the most challenging bosses at level one as well so I'm definitely going to do that. And that's why I'm taking it slow. I'm not sprinting. I'm not trying to get to the bosses. I'm like, I need to understand the path and the route first. So we've got some runes here. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Perfume bottles. Why is this so expensive? We've got the Sentry's Torch, which I think is really cool. It shows... Um, Enemies that are apparently like assassins cloaked in veil veils. Yeah So that's pretty cool. I think we'll go ahead and also get you know what the funny thing would be Can you imagine being level one as powerful as I am and facing off with some of the enemies? <laughs> that would be terrible for them If I go and invade at level one, it'd be nasty All right, so now that we're here, we'll go ahead and rest and then we'll go ahead and continue on our pathway to uh, this area over here. Now, if it's nighttime, it's not night, it's morning. But if it was nighttime, um, we, there would be a not only a bell-bearing hunter there at that shack, but also a death bird just up across the way over here. Quizador says, I like the sword that skeleton with the shield is using. I wonder if it can be dropped. Uh, oh, I'm sure. It looks like... Uh, I am certain it can be dropped, actually. It, got, it has to be a droppable item. Is this a runoc? No, this is a... The Winged Crystal Tear. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck in the tree. Alright. Yeah, that was a cool looking weapon for sure. I like the shield, and I actually like his entire getup. His outfit is amazing looking. I like those shielded knights, or the shielded undead, if you will. We'll get some golden runes again. Um, I just explored Lanedale on my actual uh, first playthrough so far. My Oh, I'll call it my current playthrough. 
it is my first file, and I haven't beaten the game yet, so. There's a Steak America that we just passed. Very nice. And we know there's several dungeons nearby. Um, also, we know that if we hug the outskirts here, we should be able to avoid the fire from the golems. Also, you know, I don't know if I... Uh, I, I didn't trigger... Uh, the Blackguard encounter yet, so I haven't purchased any prawns or anything. Maybe it would be a great file for me to, for this particular file, I could do the age, you know, the ending, that it's just the standard ending, I suppose, the age of fracture or whatnot, but um, I also wouldn't mind, you know, considering being like evil and doing a file like that. I'm going to go to the Church of uh, Vows and see if I can... Bring back Nefeli low. This is just a way to mark a, uh, a catacomb that we may have passed. And this over here is the Draconic Tree Sentinel. This is going to be a hell of a fight, so <clears throat> let me make a, take a look at what I have here. Okay, I got the Blue Dancer Charm. Radigan Sorcerer, the Warrior Jar Shard. Miser de Cord. I'm not going to be able to uh, parry these guys at all, so yeah, this is going to be tough. Because he does have a lot of attacks here. And I don't really care much about a shield. It's not going to work. 221 damage. Lovely. Alright. Ooh. He's aggressive. Dead in one hit. Okay. We get... Yeah, that's a little... That's going to be a little tough. A little tight. This guy has a lot of physical resistance. And also... Uh, a lot of health. So... My only concern there is that... Um, we're going to have to time those unsheathing strikes really, really good. If not, it's going to be a long fight. About five more minutes. Here it goes. Go ahead and get one in. Why not? Oh, that was close. Nice. Oh, okay. I was a little committed to that strike there. I should have dodged away. That's fine. Level 1 is no joke. The Draconic Tree Sentinel is definitely one uh, enemy that I feel was going to be a wall for me. Uh, but it's going to be fine. We're going to do everything we can to get through him. Uh, and also, if for whatever reason we cannot, we can always consider progressing Thea's questline. Which is another way to Lanedale. I know that because I actually completed Leah's of Thea's quest line on my other file, so. There it is. Oh, the fireball. Gosh, this guy's gonna be a jerk. Okay. It's gonna be a while. I gotta get used to his uh, patterns and also able to read his moves a little bit better. He fights very similar to the Tree Sentinel in the beginning of the game in Limgrave, but he does have some lightning components to his strikes because he has a different shield, and also his uh, Draconic Steed can breathe fire. Oh my lord, that was close. Oh, that was close too. Gosh, this one's going to be fun. This is going to be tough. But we have to defeat him to get inside. If not, we do have to progress Fia's questline, which at this point would require us to also progress uh, Rani's questline, which is a lot of, of questing to do. If I could just figure out how to defeat him, that would be better. Oh, you know what I can do, though? Because, again, this is just me kind of doing some experimentation here. I could also equip some uh, ashes. I don't have the most powerful ashes by any means. But ashes are ashes. A little bit of poison damage. I'm not sure how much that would do or how effective that is, but I'm, I'm down to try it. There you go. Back away from the shield. Okie dokies. Now we're doing some stuff. Dead. 
That's the most damage we've done, though. Uh, I'm gonna try out the marionettes, too. I'm curious if he can be poisoned. I have a feeling he's gonna have some pretty high poison resistance, but if he doesn't, and if he can't be poisoned, then that's fine. There's plenty of other ashes we could try and use. Um, one of the ones that's gonna be a pain <clears throat> is, of course, uh, trying to obtain a handful of, the, I guess, the most powerful ashes, but that's fine. I was thinking through a few of the names, like uh, Tish would be a really good, powerful one. Uh, there's a handful of others, actually, but... Alright, another thing I might consider is actually using, or uh, finding the Opaline Bubble Tier, which would allow me to not take damage. I can get, like, a free hit. Oh, okay, that scared me. Dodge, baby! I'm dead. <coughs> I healed and he heal punished. I should have just healed the one time. Ooh! Look at, uh, what's her name? I think her name is like Aurelia or whatever. Aurelia the jellyfish. We've made it this far, so we're not gonna get stuck here. And I don't really feel like doing all the quests for the other characters just yet. I'm interested to kind of test it and see what that will break if I, if I progress far enough, defeat certain main story bosses. And see how that works instead. There you go. That was a little too late, actually. Yep. Oh my uppercuts. That was bad. She does not like fire damage, that's for sure. He is just doing work. Alright, let's check out the marionettes. Those things are pretty worthless, but I'm just curious to see what they can do. Also, if I sit back a little bit more and uh, maybe just have him aggro towards the jellyfish and then I come in, that might be another strategy as well. The wolves will die in one hit. There's no, they're pretty worthless. But as I was saying, I, pretty, I probably want to consider getting a better flask. Uh, one that allows me to negate some damage like I have on my main file. He's definitely pulling the aggro, which is great. Lovely. I missed that. It's okay, though. Don't do it! Okay. Oh, that was scary. Keep pulling that sweet, sweet aggro, please. Dodge! Okay, that was scary. Need to flask up with this FP here. You know, I probably need to allocate all of my flasks to this FP. He killed them all. Okay, that's great. It was fun while it lasted, they said. Get out of here. That, see that second attack? If I do that, uh... My unsheath attack, I'm gonna be staggered there, recovering from the animation. If, and if he does a second attack, I'm pretty much toast. Hmm. Let's go ahead and uh, reallocate some FP. Later in the game, uh, health just truly doesn't matter. I might just flask, have like two flasks maybe. We'll reallocate some of these bad boys right now. Flasks. Seems like I had plenty. Okay, so we can go... Five and five works for me. I like that. Let's see what else we can do. Um, yeah, those ashes aren't the best. I think I need to look at the opaline tier. So let me just double check. I'm going to look here on line really quickly. Here and then... Opaline bubble tier, I think is what it is. Yep, that's the one. Significantly decreases damage. Let me see where I can find it, because I already obtained it in my other file. The Weeping Peninsula, beneath the Minor Ur Tree. Well, that's the one we want. 
The Weeping Peninsula. Alright, so that's way down here in the far south by the Erd Tree. Mm, Castle Morn it is. <clears throat> we'll come up here. We're going to head towards the Erd Tree itself. It's probably the best path over here. I think it'd be nice to have at least a free hit. That bubble is really good, and if I can increase, you know, maybe my dexterity or strength on the other side of, you know, the other half of the uh, concoction for the Flask of Wonders Physic, that would be good. That would be a good thing. Uh, I think I need to come up here, actually, and cross the bridge, apparently. It's been a while since I've been to the Weeping Peninsula, so... We'll grab some raw fruit, and I think there's going to be a, yep, a chief right here. We're just going to pass up. I think there's a safe way down. Yep, right over here. We are safe. And then you have to kind of do this crazy jump here anyways, at least... From what I remember. Oh, that's the Frenzied Village. So that's the wrong area. Okay. Maybe I just had to cross the bridge like a normal person. I remember trying to get to that little village, though. And you did have to do that series of jumps I just made. So, uh, I think we're fine this time, though. Just cross the bridge and we should be reaching our destination. run past some of these guardians over here come back up and around gotcha the erd tree is just right off in the distance over there I want to tag this rosa statue though nice And we'll circle around over here. That was a catacomb or a tunnel or a cave that I had a very difficult time finding. <clears throat> oh, lovely. We have a uh, an Erd Tree avatar. Might as well knock this one out level one, huh? Guardians Bracers. All right, let's do this thing, shall we? Shall we? Good morning, let's make it a great stream. Indeed, Let, let's. Do let's, do let's. Alright, let's do this. I figured you'd say that. Oh gosh, that was close. Does it? Get the crit. That was close. Very close, my friend. Dead. First try, baby. Erdtree Avatar, Weeping Peninsula, level one. You're welcome. Let's create a marker for that, shall we? Erdtree. Whew. Opaline Bubble Tier. There you go. And the Crimson Burst Tier as well. Let's go ahead and make sure these are the ones we wanted. We're going to go to our key items. Uh, the Crimson Tier, no, is this one. Steadily report restores HP for a time in this mixed physic. Strength not. We have Dexterity and Intelligence not for some reason. Opaline bubble tier. That's the one we want. Okay, very nice. 
Very nice indeed. I could probably consider using some cracked pots too. I don't know what all they do in terms of like damage output, but we could consider taking a look at some of those. What is this, a fetid pot? Oh, poison buildup, okay. I see. That's not bad, okay, yeah, let's do some of that. I only have three pots though, so I, can, I need to go find more. There's a handful more I could find. That's awesome, I'm glad we, uh, we defeated that Urtree avatar so quickly. We got the opaline tier that we were needing as well, so that's fine and well. We're still buffed up here. That's why you see that red and blue shining aura. Nice. Alright. Let's now go back. For now. Uh, we'll go and see if we can try a few more things. Oh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go to Liernia. I'm going to come up over here and uh, try and see if I can drop down to Jarburg. This is the village of the little Jar people, and they're so cute. Elena Dem with the Bobby Ross. Love you, baby. Hope you're having a great day today. I need to move the comment. Like, the comments are all up in that section. Hold on one second. The chat box. Unlock. I'm gonna comment so I can test something. Let me emoji myself here. Hype. Self hype. If I type something really long. We'll put it right there. Lovely. Okay, that's better. Okay, it was all up in the mix. Let's go ahead and sit at this uh, side of grace. We're going to remix our wondrous physic. I don't need intelligence now. Nah. That's, that's odd that I even had that. Uh, we'll go with the winged crystal tear. Very nice. Now, we'll go this way. Due north. I haven't seen Hayata yet. And one thing I'll need to do is actually find the Church of Vows so that I can hopefully uh, speak with some of these people and revive some that I've killed. I'm pretty certain I've destroyed a bunch of people. Uh, NPCs, anyways. Let's see if there's a safe way down here. I don't recall the exact path that I took. And that we can drop down here. Hmm. Uh oh, I hear the wolves. There it is. This is what I was looking for right here. Oh gosh, that was a crazy jump. And down we go. We're going to tag the side of Grace over here first because I want to make sure I don't get killed by those uh, Lyurnia knights over here. There's one right over here. Very nice. And there's going to be a whole just path due north that will allow us to just make our way straight to Jarburg. And hopefully all the way north on the eastern side of Lyernia as well, so that we can find uh, the Church of Vows as well. We're just going to bypass all these guys for now. They're not too powerful. Not too important either. Yeah, let's go around. There's another Rosa statue pointing to uh, a catacomb.
gosh, my controller is going crazy. It points me to, so pretty much if I want to move to the right, it'll force me to go to the left. I need a bunch more gold-tinged excrement. Never thought I'd be requesting such a thing. Got more wolves over here, very nice. We'll grab some runes. I'm trying to see which weapon, I mean like right now I like the Uchigatan, I think it's pretty optimal. I think at some point I'd like to also use the, uh, the Sword of Saint Trina. Let me make sure this isn't one that's going to grant me a skill. Should just be a crimson teardrop scare that would just replenish my heals. That's all it was. This is where our little friend Iron Fist Alexander is going to be. At some point anyways. And let's see if we can drop down safely over here. Um, there should be a site of grace just directly across this, so let's go ahead and check that out. And yes, we're just going to bypass that one. There's a Tibia Mariner right there. We could probably take him out as well, just for the hell of it. That's Tibia Mariner number two. The first one can be found in the northeastern Limgrave area. I wonder if these are going to give us some Starlight Shards. Yep. Looking for another side of grace nearby. Just in case I, I miss those jumps and I fall to my death. <laughs> I want to be sure I can come right back to it without having to traverse this entire area again. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. I can't turn right. So annoying. Need a new controller. So I thought over here there was going to be the ruins of some sort. Let me see where we could get all the way down to the water line here, but I guess I'm mistaken. Because I was thinking that I could t talk with Hayeta again over here. I haven't seen her once yet in this file, so I'm not sure what criteria are needed to trigger that encounter. We've got... A painting over here, and it looks like we do have a side of grace. This will do just fine. Alright, perfect. So now we can go ahead and make a risky maneuver here. This guy, I think, hold. he's going to have something for us, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, oh, I can't move to the right. I love that delay. It gets me every time. Every time. Watch, I'll use this. Oh. Oh, did I not mix it? Did I not mix it yet? I should have. Maybe I didn't save it because that didn't seem like the effect. Normally it's a green little, it's like a bubble, a see-through bubble, and um, it protects you from pretty much one hit. You get just a tiny amount of tick damage on the first hit. Let me see what I did here then. Oh, I used the winged one. Of course I did. I think I accidentally selected at the end. That is not what I meant to do. So instead of the winged, opaline. Let me make sure this is the correct one. There it is. That's the bubble I was looking for. Okay, let's go kill this guy just for the hell of it. Ah, my controller is acting so crazy. I cannot move to the right smoothly. It stops me every time. This is not the game where I can't be precise. <laughs> Especially this run. This run in particular. Alright, come on, big guy. I'm going to see if I can get a back stab on He's probably going to turn around, though. Yep. There you go, damage negation, I love it. We'll get the critical. Nice. Ooh, he got me. Got a bad, uh, 
bad roll in there, and unfortunately, he punished it. He's still going after it, isn't he? He's like, well, I buffed up my sword. I gotta use it on something. He's gonna hit the ground next to me then. That's fine. And all we're doing is just getting distracted as we're going to Jarburg. Jarburg is where we're gonna find some additional cracked pots, and we can craft as many items as possible. I'm saying that we craft, I don't know, I'd say a handful of uh, poison pots and things like that so we can deal some additional damage. I'm not entirely sure what kind of damage the Draconic Tree Sentinel would be even leads to. Nice try, bud. He got me there. I was mid-attack, and uh, I had already committed to the unsheathed strike. I think this one dropped something, and I'm just curious. I don't really... There's no point to actually kill him for a level 1 run, but... This is me just goofing around, just trying to find everything. And eventually, for this one level 1 run, I am going to be exploring quite a bit, so... All right, let's sneak up behind him, get a critical hit here. I didn't time that right either. Ugh, lovely. Let me switch over to my Flask of Wondrous Physic for the next encounter. I'm going to take him out because this is just one of the many enemy types that we're going to have to see throughout the other levels anyways. We, we, we can bypass most of them, but it's just good to be able to warm up a bit and be able to take these guys out. Especially before taking on something like the Draconic Tree Sentinel, who's going to be, I'd say, very difficult. It's not raining anymore. I like his... Uh, Cape and his entire armor is actually pretty nice. Go get the critical. He's doing another attack. And he's dead. No, he's not. I'm dead. That one hit, that one mistake I made was all it took. Oh, that was otherwise a near perfect execution. I got too confident, and I got punished for it. It happens. And again, this is more of like me warming up than anything. Gotta take on the Draconic Tree Sentinel. We have to grab a few more pots. That way we can make some different concoctions. I'm hoping that the Draconic Tree Sentinel can get poisoned. I'm not sure if he can. Haven't tested out that theory yet. Weird timing to dodge that. Got me again. <clears throat> For some reason, I thought he was going to do that attack right there. But instead, he did the lunge. Let's call our mount, head down this hill. Go get a backstab. See if we can 
punish. Back away. See, that's the distance right there. I don't have enough distance when I do that. That makes perfect sense now. I see what's happening there now. <clears throat> so whenever he's doing that, um, that one attack, I wasn't getting the proper distance. The guard counter actually is, I need to be dodging that uh, laterally versus horizontally, or versus uh, vertically, because I'm going back and I'm not clearing the distance, so I need to be d d jumping to the side. Good to know, because that is pretty devastating. Alright, let's jump down here. Let's kill this guy, shall we? Tired of dying. And again, this has absolutely no relevance to my run. Neither does taking that flask of cerulean tears. But you know, we do that sometimes. We make mistakes. Also, I'm just warming up. Level 1 run, you gotta warm up just a bit. Punish, there you go. Punish. Dodge laterally. Punish. Critical. Nice. Got greedy. But we're gonna finish him off hopefully here. Oh, we're not. We're not gonna press R2 hard enough to do the strike. <laughs> Lovely. That's the second time. What the heck? Again, there is absolutely no importance to fighting this guy. I'm just doing it for my own practice, really. We're gonna be facing off with the Draconic Tree Sentinel. We're already in Langdale. I'm just kind of screwing around. I just wanted to go and grab some uh, urns from, or pots, I'm sorry, from Jarberg, which is just right down here. And I saw him here, and I remember him dropping something, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. Love it. We'll defeat him, though. This is a matter of time. And one thing that I've been experiencing the last few streams is my left stick forces me to go left. So when I try and turn right, there's a lot of resistance there. And my character will kind of like stagger or like jitter around for a bit. It's super annoying. But it's going to happen. So we have to prepare for that too when it does. I love the rain effect. I love how like the clothes look like drenched in rain. It looks so nice. Such a nice effect. Should have dodged laterally there, that's okay though. We'll get the critical right here and then we need to pop our flask. We're gonna back up though first before he gets up. Lovely. See, so on that strike, if I get hit, I need to go ahead and dodge through to the left instead of back because he takes a step forward, a tiny little step, but that's just enough to keep you within range of his strike there. That's not bad. It's good practice. Not that he fights anything like the Tree Sentinel, but... We should actually be practicing against the Tree Sentinel, to be honest. Hydrate? I shall hydrate. Oh, I'm gonna drink this nice warm tea. Now he's gonna come. I'm not gonna get the backstab, though. Must. Get. Backstab. Can I get it? Thank you for that, Hydrate. Alright, here it goes. There it is. Follow-up attack, but I was not going to let him do that. Ooh, how scary. Ah, I need to strafe to the left. It's going to become a real issue. Yep, I dodged too late. I panic rolled. 
So when I was going strafing to the right, I kept having that, you know, I'm fighting that resistance for my controller to point to the left. So annoying. I need a new controller. That's okay, though. I got to strafe to the left then, which means some of the attacks are going to have to be dodged through. Like, I have to dodge through some of these attacks as opposed to uh, away from them, and that's fine. Minor adjustment because of faulty equipment. That's fine. We can make up for it with skill. Backstab. And then we're going to do this. Critical. Terrible time to flask. Terrible positioning. It's okay, though. So just anything less than... Um, like any tick of damage, even if it's the damage negation bubbles tick, that would be enough for me to then get one shot by the lightning strike, so I have to dodge that correctly. And that that's a weird delay it has on it, too. It's got a really strange delay to it. Um, so it's not exactly when he hits the ground. It's just maybe a fraction of a second after. And that's when you have to dodge. Otherwise, you'll get tagged by it. No reason for me not to pop that before the battle and then switch over to our Flask of Cerulean Tears in preparation for the battle to come. And again, as I've said many times, this is not a necessary fight. I'm just doing this for practice. Secondary strike was scary, but fortunately we got the, the ability to interrupt that attack, so that's fine. Let's see if we can do this. It's going to be sloppy, but I think we can pull it off. It's nighttime. I mean, daytime. He's dead. Bad choice of attacks, sir. We got the Dragon Cult Prayer Book. See, I knew he dropped something. GG's. All right, let's go back over here. We're going to go over to uh, Jarberg and say hi to some old friends. GG's indeed. Thank you. Oh, I need some of that gold-tinged excrement. Now, every time I see the gold-tinged excrement, I'm going to pick it up because that's an ingredient for... Poison pots, or festering pots, I believe is what they're called. Let's go ahead and take out this Tibia Mariner as well. Why not? While we're here. He's all the way over there. Gotta love that teleportation. See how far to the left my character went? That was not me. Dodge. friends over here we can take out. There you go. I don't want the projectile ones alive. So I don't care about the spear wielders. I can dodge them for the most part. As long as I stay out of range here. And friendly fire is activated, so we're good. Lovely. That was close. Let's see where the Tibia Mariner went this time. 
Uh, where did he go? I don't even see his life bar anymore. Way the hell over here. Oh, you bastard. He's the shy one, that's for sure. Let's go back in. He's probably back in this pond somewhere, but... He loves running around, that's for sure. Very nice. I don't even know what this... I can't get a critical on him, so I don't know why it does that. Dodge. That was close. <clears throat> there you go. Good try, you lazy bastard. We don't have much health left, so we have to make these shots count. Gold tinged excrement. There's some more. I'll grab it. Oh, he's doing his thing. Yep. Don't do it, sir. Let's get out of here and see if he... Yep, he teleported all the way over here. It's fine. And he's dead. All of y'all should fall, please. Thank you, thank you. Enemy fell. That's the Tibia Mariner level 1. And we got some Death Root. And the Skeletal Bandit Ashes. Maybe those will be useful as well. Skeletal Bandit Ashes. Very cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab some of these items while we're here. Smithing Stone 3. There is a purple item over here. Trina's Lily. Times 1. And now, let's safely traverse to Jarberg. There's some uh, blood rose we can go ahead and pick up as well. He doesn't even see me. Come here, little guy. I need you to replenish my stuff anyways. Very nice. Okay, so now we can drop down. You know, the only thing is I'm afraid that I might take some lethal damage here. I gotta find the tombstones that I can come across here. I don't see any yet, which is odd. Jarberg is literally right down there. I wonder if the tombstones come out at a different time. Unless I'm just coming at it from a different angle. Let's see. Yeah, never mind. I was mistaken. They're just right over here. Oh, I'm dead. Gravity. Gravity Falls. Good tea. Okay, let's try that again. Now that Lanedale Knight won't be there anymore, so <clears throat> I'm happy. Oh, he will be there. That's fine. He dropped something unique, though, so that's interesting that a unique drop, or an enemy that provides a unique drop, would come back. A great dragonfly head. Definitely need those for the neutralizing boluses. Alright, with full health, we should be fine. We defeated the mariner, so we got a death root as well. We're, we're looking good now. There it is. There you go. And then here. And then we're just going to keep shimming across, pretty much. Oh my gosh, I almost died again. That's okay. Gonna drop off a uh, torrent over here. Get a smithing stone three. I wonder if this is a melted mushroom or just a regular. It's just a standard mushroom. The melted mushrooms can only be found in the underground, so that makes sense. We'll go ahead and tag this side of Grace before we start talking with everybody. Got a Michaela's Lily as well. Rillo fruit. All the standard goodies. More roa fruit and looks like poison bloom, yep. Let's go talk to Jar Baron. Hello, 
Cuz. What are you doing here? I didn't think anyone knew about this place. Except us jars. Ah. Are you going to be the new potentate? Gosh. Truly. That's wonderful news. It's not easy being potentate, though. I know. Show me your hands. It's just a little test, cuz. To see if you've got the right stuff. Hands are too rough. Hmm. Your skin isn't so smooth, is it? You need slick, slidey hands to be potentate, you know? <sighs> I'm sorry, cuz. But I don't think you've got what it takes. Well, my bad for failing shame. you. What a shame indeed. Okay, let's go ahead and find some of the uh, the pots. They're all around here. There's about four to five, so let's grab as many as we can. We'll grab these uh, unique ingredients as well. This one should be a ritual pot, I think. And then we're going to have a handful of just standard cracked pots as well. I think three cracked pots and two ritual pots. I am... Happy about that, because the more we get, the better. Grab some of these golden runes as well, just free souls. Golden rune three, golden rune two. All kinds of good stuff there. And we can circle back to the actual village itself. This is just where, I guess... They bury their dead, or dead have been buried here, and Jarberg's just near a cemetery. Could be possible. Some herba. Alright, now the rest should be relatively easy to grab. Let's see if I remember all the placement for them. Another cracked pot. Cracked pot. Living jar shard. Crystal butt over here. Well, that gave us quite a few. I think it was like, what, three cracked pots and maybe one ritual pot? That's probably the second ritual pot right up there. So let's jump on uh, some of these rooftops here. Do my favorite type of exploration, this rooftop jumping. Come right over here. Jump on this roof right here. And that's the second ritual pot. Very nice. So two ritual pots, three cracked pots, just as we suspected. Very nice. Okay, cool. Let me go talk to Jar Baron. I'm sure he's like, it's okay, cuz. Maybe next time. Funny thing is, then when someone with soft hands comes across, he doesn't like Don't those either. So we can still chat. Come back and visit me. I will visit you, my little friend. My little Jar friend. My ceramic companion. Okay. So. Back to the grind, I suppose. Let's go back to this merchant shack and see if we can make it over to the draconic tree sentinel and uh, see how far we can get. This one's going to be tough, guys. I'm not going to lie. It's going to be probably one of the toughest fights for me at level 1. I don't know if we can inflict poison on him either, so that's another mystery. Um, but I'm sure we'll find out in due time. Our jellyfish ash summon should, at some point in one of these encounters, if we live long enough, uh, prove if she can or cannot poison him. And that would be really nice to know. Got some golden roa. Hello, friends, my little aristocrat people. We are going to run past all of this over here. 
hopefully not get shot by these archers. These golem archers' arrows can do a ton of damage if they hit me directly, especially. So we gotta be careful. Carrie Ann says, "Hey, it's Boss Hoggy. I'm on my wife's phone. My phone's dead. <laughs> What's up, Boss Hoggy? How you doing, man? You doing good today? Hopefully, you're enjoying your Saturday. Let me go tag this steak of America somewhere around here. Okay, now this is where we die and die a lot because we are doing this at level one." And we are halfway through the game. I'm gonna tab you while I get some food. Thanks, man. Appreciate the tab. Always appreciate a good lurker. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can avoid this. I'm good. Been cleaning the car and stuff. Nice, nice. It's a beautiful day outside. I don't want the, I don't know what the weather's like over there, but it is fantastic over here. It is like probably 70 something degrees. 60 right now. It'll be up to 70. It's going to be amazing. Can't wait to get outside as well. Maybe go for a nice walk or something. Ooh, my ash is dead already. And I'm dead too. Okay. Yeah. That second attack is always going to be a problem. Damn. So damn warm. <laughs> That's a good thing. I love the warm weather. I do not like cold weather at all. Not one bit. I'd much rather be burning up than freezing cold. Yeah, this boss fight's going to be tough at level one. <clears throat> we got this, though. I'm going to continue using this ash just to see how well it works. We're going to go ahead and get our damage negation bubble activated as well and then get prepared to do some some damage here. I'll get a free hit in, why not? Nice. Dodge forward. That second attack is gonna kill me. My gosh, almost got me. Flask up twice. Dodge. I need to flash up. He's gonna hit me. No, he's not. I thought he was gonna die of that. I mean, that's the one I was expecting. That's gonna hurt me, though. I've been so fortunate so far to not get these <laughs> bad attacks, and he's giving me terrible RNG, which is just lovely. So I'm here trying to save my jellyfish as much as possible, which is now dead. Dodge. Dodge. We're gonna go ahead and heal up. I'm dead. Heal punished, and I only took a little sliver of damage away. Yeah, that's a tough one. Oh, that's tough. So we are pretty much, at this point, we defeated two of the demigods, and now we're trying to make it to the capital. I'd say this is right about the halfway point, and man, oh man, is it tough. Trying to see what I can do, especially at level 1, it's incredibly difficult. Now these guys are very squishy, they don't have tons of health, but... Let's try it out anyway, shall we? Let's get a free hit in. Dodge. Oh, the splash damage got us, that's not good. Don't die. They're gonna die. Don't do it. They are filling up this guy with arrows right now. And they're dead. That's okay. They gave it their all. That's all that matters. Dodge. And I'm dead. Alright. So, let's try out the other ashes we got. We don't have a ton of strong ashes, that's for sure, but... Let's at least try the Skeletal Militia. I thought there was something really neat about them that they continue to respawn unless they're properly killed. And I think that's the, the magic behind those ashes. But let's see if, if there's any truth to that. Uh, this is the spirit of a bandit who lives in death and will continue to rise again until properly finished off. After the night of the plot, death root appeared in the lands between and those who live in death soon followed. Yeah, we're trying that. 
Here he goes. I don't know why I used that flask. That's fine. That's fine. Here you go. Let's get a free hit in. Nice. Okay. He shouldn't be dead yet, though. Over here, please. Thank you. He came right back. Lovely. That's what we needed. See if I can catch. <laughs> he dies in one hit, though. That's the problem. Come over here. Yeah, don't don't hit his body. Not nice. Did he die? Die? Yeah, he died. That splash damage attack got him, unfortunately. You're just spamming your fireballs. So maybe I just need to go ahead and move in with some standard strikes. I don't think I can parry that. I am almost certain I cannot. So it wouldn't make a lot of sense to be able to parry an enemy that's mounted on a horse anyways. Because how would you get a repost in? I am going to try though. Because <laughs> I am... I'm not that desperate yet, but I am going to try. Probably want to buff that weapon up too. As a matter of fact, I want to increase the strength of all of my weapons. And there's a handful of sp somber smithing stones and standard smithing stones I need to obtain. In order to make that happen. I missed that opportunity right there. I'm just going to dodge over here. Dodge again. He's dead, but as long as he doesn't hit him again, he shouldn't permanently die. I'll hit him again. Dodge. Dodge. Hopefully our skeletal militiamen will hit him from the back. Very nice. He's not going to like that. Too much. Oh, he's totally dead there. Dodge. Got to keep him alive. Let's go over here as much as we can. Come on, come on. No. <laughs> he poked his dead body. That's very smart of him. What excellent AI. I mean, I've said this many times. The AI is freaking genius, I say. Damage negation bubble pop. Dodge. Dodge. This freaking dragon horse is so annoying. Quit spewing fire. Dead. Okay, I'm gonna go for a parry, but if I miss the parry, I am dead, so I might die a few times just experimenting with the parries. It's gonna be alright. And we've been going for only an hour. It feels like two, I'm telling you. Here goes. That's my parry. Okay, I was like, how do I. Let's go ahead and try this. Bro. Okay. Damn. Okay, I don't know if that even worked. I have no clue what happened. I just remember seeing a blinding flash of light getting smashed to death. No good. I don't know if I can parry that. I don't know how big my parry window is there, but I'm going to try it. Alright, come on, genius. Oof, I don't know. <laughs> I, that was a little too early, I think. He hit me too fast. I, I didn't time the parry right, but I don't know if I can pull that off. I'm going to try. Try a few more times, actually. I 
I need to parry something just normal to get that, to understand the window of parry there. There, I think it's boom right there, okay. Let's try that again. is going to be the thing. Also, next big enemy I kill, I need to go ahead and uh, see if I can bump up the damage of my weapons. There's a handful of notes I've been taking in my standard playthrough that show me that I need to get uh, pretty much the sealed tunnel has stones level 3 and 4. So the sealed tunnel is actually over here. I know exactly where it's at. And then there's the Zamora Ruins, which has 5 and 6. So the sealed tunnel is... It's either right here or right here. Uh, it's right here, actually. I lied on all those accounts. Never mind. It's right here. Because I remember it being here, and because when I broke through the sealed tunnel, I was able to get to the Divine Tower. So, we're going to go right to the Outer Wall Phantom Tree. There's going to be a... Uh, an ulcerating tree spirit that we could probably defeat as well, but I need a good shield. This will make me have a medium load. Any single one of these items will bump me up to a medium load. So let's take a look. What do we have here that's so heavy? Five pounds for the Uchigata. Now that is pretty heavy. These pants are heavy as hell too. I need new pants. Hmm. That weighs, all of those only weigh about a pound. Interesting. And this weighs one pound. So it's really just the Uchigatana that weighs a ton. I can drop this though for sure. And then I think even if I equip this, I'll still be medium load. So in that case, if I'm going to be losing that, I will equip everything in that case. All right. Uh, that way we can have all of our arsenal to us. Uh... Okay, here goes. Alright, so first things first. We can grab a golden seed over here, or we can go straight to the tunnel. I say we go straight to the tunnel first, and then we can mess around with other little bosses along the way. We have to defeat a boss anyways, one of the Alabaster Lords. He'll be pretty tough, to be honest, especially at level 1, so... We gotta prepare for that. That'll allow us to upgrade our weapons infinitely as long as we have the runes for it. So, uh, we do need that. So, Seal Tunnel gives you stones 3 and 4, which, if you multiply them, I think, by 3, they give you the uh, how, ma how much they can upgrade. So, let's double check that real quick. Uh, so, 1s give you times... Yeah, so you have to multiply it by 3. So, I can get this the weapon up to 6... Uh, or 9 and 12, respectively, so not bad at all. Actually, 9 and 12. Even better. Alright, so where's my tunnel at? This is a sealed tunnel. It has tons of different uh, secrets in it and sealed off passageway so you think it's oh it's just a side of grace here but there's actually quite a bit more to it and the the telltale sign really is like the discoloration of that wall there one and then two you have a summoning pool here which is like why would i need a summoning pool if there's nothing here right so if you just come over here you can break through this wall we have all kinds of fun guys over here Pretty much going to be avoiding most of this stuff. I think that the illusory walls are behind this chest. We'll go ahead and kill this guy real quick. I love that they have like a nice, unique backstab because they're a lot smaller. We'll grab this, the contents of this chest here. That's actually all we needed. So I don't even need to fight the boss necessarily. But I will because I'm doing a level 1 run and why not? Okay. Okay. Because why not? That is literally all I needed. So if I go to the key items, look at the bell bearing. 
this gives us access to smithing stones threes and four infinite amounts of them so as long as you have enough cash you can purchase those that's not bad at all another illusory wall here I think I just did this yesterday that's why I remember where everything's at another illusory wall right over there and this is where things start getting a little crazy these little dudes start hopping around everywhere Okay. These guys can kill you like really fast. So let me just get out of here. Yeah. Oh gosh, he's doing the monkey thing. He's on my back. Don't do it, sir. Alright, running through all this, because I think there's another item, yep. A stone sword key. Okay. Yeah, I'm dead. And typically, if you're just running, you know, in most level 1 runs, you're not defeating all the enemies. I was just trying to grab some of the items. I don't remember exactly what was in here, but there's an alabaster lord in there. Um, has some pretty unique attacks as well. Anyways, we got what we came here for, right? So let's go back to the round table hold. Can't travel from here. I actually need to get out of this cave. If you're inside of a cave, you typically can't travel. Man, I cannot, for the life of me, turn right. My controller fights me the whole way. Okay, this is the way out. Once we're outside of the thresholds of the cave, we can then teleport wherever we want. We're going to go back to round table hold. That's a really interesting cave and I'd say very special because if you go to the seal tunnel, you grab that bell bearing, you now have infinite amounts of stones three and four, which give you up to level nine and 12 uh, weapons respectively. So you can purchase them infinitely. There are a handful of other bell bearings that do the same thing. Uh, I'll talk to D in just a moment as well. Ah, my character, he keeps wanting to go, he keeps jittering. Don't like that gonna offer the bell bearing I don't have anything to purchase but if you can see we now have stones three and four which is great I'm not even sure what level my Uchigatana is right now it's only level two so we still have quite a ways to go there also one thing that I could consider is possibly getting some new pants that are a little bit lighter and less cheap I mean I'm sorry less uh, heavy um, because right now the pants that I have on are pretty heavy and if I put on anything like a shield or uh, some finger seal so I can use my incantations my equipment loadout goes from light to heavy really fast Those who own them all were I'm showing him the death route that way we can now have access to some beast sorceries or beast incantations absolutely and accept the introduction he's going to mark something on our map and we know exactly where to go from there after we talk with him he'll be able to show us the rest i think that uh yeah he's here because we had definitely defeated him very nice there's roderica well i took you for that i'm not dead yet So I need six smithing stone ones. Interesting. And I am certain that there's a bell bearing that allows you to get those as well. Liernia of the Lakes would also be a great place to farm a bunch of these stones. Lots of caves there. Okay. So the key is to get many more of those stones. I thought even Patches might have the stones 1 and 2. I don't remember. There is somebody that sells them though. Did we grab the third talisman pouch already? We did. Okay. Excellent. 
So that's good that we grabbed that one, but I need to go ahead and search, because I, I don't remember which one I have it in my other file. So I need to search which bell bearing has, um, let's see here, bell bearings. I need to know which one has the stones for one and two. Smithing stone miner's bell, that's the one I'm talking about. Probably from the stone digger troll, maybe? So this is found in the Ray Lucaria Crystal Tunnel. Aha! Uh -huh. So, where the hell is that again? Ray Lucaria Crystal Tunnel is probably over here. Or over here. I think it's over here. Let's go ahead and search this way. And it's a Crystallian, which Crystallians are really annoying, but I can defeat them relatively easily at this point because I fought so many. Ray Lucaria Crystal Tunnel. Let me take a look and see where this is at on the map. This is something I've already obtained before. Oh, I was right. It was over here. It's this tunnel right here at number three. We're going to go to waypoint three then in that case. Easy does it. So then from there what we can do is we'll find the ones and twos and then we'll get enough uh, runes to go ahead and use those. Level up our Uchigatana as much as possible. All right, let's go to waypoint three. I did kill... Uh, <laughs> The Glintstone Dragon Smarag as well. No hit, no damage. That was a lot of fun. If I solved the puzzle to this tower, I could get a Memory Stone. At this point, though, although there are a handful of incantations, I'd say probably... I can probably think of at least three to four that you can use relatively easily without um, having any additional stats. You definitely don't want to uh, rely on them too much because there's a point where they just don't do a ton of damage. All right, so let's go to this new uh, area here. I do think it's blocked off by an imp, an imp seal, if I remember correctly, because I have actually visited nearly all of these areas. Like Le Ray Lucaria or the Lierni of the Lakes area, I've searched very thoroughly. If I recall correctly as well, there should be like a bunch of crystal formations and then eventually we circle around. There's one of those boys over there, very nice. They're really fun to take down. And they just end up becoming, uh, instead of walking mausoleums, just regular mausoleums after you destroy them. It's really neat. Alright, where oh where is this cave? Oh, here it is. Lovely. We'll leave Torrent behind because he can't come inside. He can't come indoors. Should be a bunch of stones here we can grab anyways. Huh. Cracked crystals. We'll go ahead and activate our lanterns. We get some better visibility. There definitely was something up there we could have grabbed. That's okay, though. Man, my controller's acting up. It makes me... It's forcing me to turn left. So when I make any kind of right adjustment, it's like, no, no, no. It pulls back really hard. It's got a mind of its own, I say. Let's go back up and see what this is. Again, I'm not in any rush. This is my my practice run for soul level one or level one, so. By no means am I trying to like to speed run. Look at this. You see how he's stuttering like that? Drop down here. This is what I just did. Oh lovely. That's what I wanted to do. Damn it. Okay, I went the wrong way. Drop down. Drop down. Go over here. Fight the controller just a bit. Look at this. I'm holding right. And that's what's happening. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, so now I gotta actually find the first tunnel I'm trying to get down into. Uh, hiss right here. Okay, good gosh. All that for some cracked crystals. Not to be confused with crack crystals. Uh, 
All right, very good. Now we can explore. Oh man, this controller's acting weird. It's so annoying. Okay, I'm just trying to loosen it up a bit. I don't know why it does that. We'll go ahead and tag this side of Grace. We'll rest at it as well so we can replenish that little sliver of health and also get a bunch more um, flasks and all that good stuff. Glintstone scrap. Very nice. We got a somber smithing stone too. I wonder if, uh, you know, since Misa de Cor is like named, I wonder if that's a unique weapon and we possibly need um, somber stone for that to upgrade. And if we do, there's also, you know, the, uh, the bell bearings for the somber stones as well, which are also typically in caves. Okay, so there's items over there. This guy's still alive. Okay, maybe not. Is my lantern equipped? Yeah, it is. It's just dark. Poor lighting. Oh my jeez. Yep. I'm dead. I dropped down way too far. So uh, those jumps are going to be regular jumps, and then beyond that, I have to hold circle to get a sprinting jump. Makes sense. I, I remember that now, and I remember specifically like being like, man, that's going to be a tough jump to make in the future. But it's not. We got this. We'll go ahead and flask up. I don't remember what the cracked crystals are for necessarily, but we'll go ahead and grab them while we're here. We really just care about the upgrade materials at this point, though. Oh, lovely. Hold on. Back up. That's not what I meant to do. Get a back stab. Now that I have to fight him. It is. Go ahead and grab the somber smithing stone too. We're gonna need it. We are going to need it. Yo, oh, that was close. Okay. Get some cracked crystals, and now we can make these jumps again. Very carefully. I will activate my lantern because I have no visibility here. So that seems to me to be a big boy jump, though. That one? Okay. Come on. There you go. And, yep. Whew. Lovely. Made it. Smithing Stone 3. Very nice. And a somber smithing stone three. Can't get the backstab for whatever reason. But if you two hand, even for thick skinned enemies, you, you will not deflect from them. So your weapon does not deflect after you strike them. That's the best thing about that. So make sure that if you're facing off with enemies that have really thick skin or thick hides, that you are dual wielding the weapon or more specifically just two handing the weapon you don't have to dual wield it if you do have a weapon like hook claws or cases then yes you would have to dual wield it and that would be the same as two handing a weapon and that way you could also uh negate that weapon deflection that is so annoying we're gonna get a backstab and then we're gonna do our uh, weapon skill right here there you go and then it's a slash to finish them off two slashes Get the, more of these cracked crystals. You know, I'd prefer not to fight everybody in the world, but there are a bunch of these enemies just sitting around here, so. Oh, goody. Dodge. Dodge. 
weapon skill in there. See if I can backstab. Dodge away from this guy. Weapon skill. Weapon skill. And slash. I'm truly not trying to fight everybody. Not at level 1. <laughs> but they're not giving me much choice, are they? I died anyways after all that. So we're going to go and grab whatever he was defending. All of those nodes there on the wall that have like a golden glow to them, those are just standard smithing stones. But they're of different levels, so at this point, anything's welcome because I need to get the free upgrade materials before I go ahead and, and get stuck with having to purchase them. Fortunately, we don't have to make a lot of those tricky jumps anymore. We can actually just bypass this and grab some of these cracked crystals. Upgrading the weapon is going to be really important for us to be able to defeat the Draconic Tree Sentinel because that, that enemy is very difficult. And uh, the, su the summons and all the different ashes that I have available to me right now are just not very adequate. They're not very powerful, so they're truly not helping me too much. I'll prevent him from doing his strike there. Lovely. Lovely. What was that node that I saw? I swear I saw one. Stabbing me to death. I'll probably just end up running past and seeing what's down there. Grab that item. While I'm here, because I'm probably not going to revisit this place. So down we go again. Jump through, jump through. My controller is fighting me so hard right now. It's like, go left. There it is. There's that node, Somber Smithing Stone 3. Got two of them for free. guys just pursued me all the way through, didn't they? It's the ones that are like semi-sorcerers that are the most troublesome, to be honest. But that's okay. I went, the, <laughs> the sorcerer just went ahead and took a seat after he after I died. He's like, eh, it's fine. It's fine. In typical old dude fashion. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, continue our way down here. Gosh, it seems like, I mean, it almost wants me to have to defeat all these enemies. I have no desire to do that. I could just sprint through. But I, don't, I just want to make sure if there are free materials, I'm grabbing them. I don't want to have to pay for them. One strike. Two strikes. And then slash to death. Uh, can we grab this, please? Okay. Another golden rune, very nice. We'll go ahead and say hi to this old guy. This old chap. Okay. I do believe that's where I continuously die, over there. Yep, that's the platform that I'm fighting those guys, perfect. We can walk past these guys instead. Here's another platform. Sure, there's other levels we could drop down from. Let's see, there's one, for example. But unless it leads to like a boss encounter or something truly special, I'm probably gonna just have to skip it for now. Okay. More stones. I wonder if I could just come up and grab this. I don't think he'd attack me. Yeah, he would. Of course he would. Don't do that. Okay, don't attack me. I was afraid that if he pulled out the weapon, it was also going to cause some sort of splash damage on me, but it didn't look like it did. I can't jump across from there, but this guy is definitely looking to attack me, so I am going to 
use my defensive uh, flask here. Circle around, see if we can take out this enemy. Oh, there's two of them. Ooh. Oh, he's dead after one hit and I followed him. And there's the Crystallian boss right there. <laughs> you can actually see the Crystallian boss from up above. That's really neat. Okay, so now we're going to sprint through that entire area, go to the second lift, take that down, grab the smithing stone, and then be on our way. And again, we're doing all this level one, so that's why you see me dying so much. And to be honest, none of this is even necessary. What I'm doing is fighting the bosses, searching, I mean, search, fighting all the enemies, I should say. Uh, searching all the items and all that. That is by no means necessary in a level 1 run. And this is something of like a practice run for me. So I am trying to figure out what is necessary, what's not. I think that getting the upgrade materials is really important. So we can start dealing some more damage to some of these higher level enemies. Now that we're well beyond the first two demigods. And now trying to bust into Lanedale, the capital city. So... I think it's worth it now to start increasing our damage. If we can upgrade our weapon, you know, I'd say plus 10 or higher, that'd be great. At this point, we're like using a plus 2 weapon to fight a draconic tree sentinel, which is absurd. So we're going to keep going through here. Let's see. So this pathway, I just need to run safely over here. We've got this genius. I am going to use this just for my own safety. Before he can grab a glint stone, we're going to go ahead and attack him, finish him off. Do the same with this bro right here. Before he can trigger that glint stone. We'll let him do his explosion. Very nice. Finish him off. We'll retrieve our lost runes. We're going to flask up right here. We're going to get a critical, a backstab if you will. And then we're going to do a weapon skill and then a slash. Finish him off. We got all kinds of smithing stones there. Very nice. Now this can take us up. Which I'm sure is going to be important. Let's go ahead and take it up. I remember there being something. Down below is where the crystalline is though. Where we will get the bell bearing that we've come here for. But what's over here I say? This is our little shortcut. Okay, lovely. So now we have a shortcut. We don't have to run through that second gauntlet there. We can just take this one down instead. We'll grab these cracked crystals because we are crazy about grabbing some free loot. I can't just bypass, you know, some good loot. It's just not in my blood. Hey there, friend. Easy Keppa with the fish heads. We'll grab this item over here. Smithing stone too. I thought I was going to get ambushed here. There is an area. I think the rest of these passageways I do get ambushed. Yep, right here. No, no, don't, don't shoot. Don't shoot. Dead. Okay. I think there's one more ambush on the other side. <laughs> if I recall correctly. Uh, it's probably right over here. Wait, why'd you die? That threw me off. Don't die yet. Ooh, I gotta dodge these. I don't want to lose my damage negation bubble. We'll get the critical here. Oof, we haven't got hit yet. That's good. I can only use my weapon skill maybe once or twice more, so I need to be mindful of that. I may need to flask up. We got the crystal knife. Very cool. Right, anybody else want to ambush me? No. I'm going to go ahead and re-up my FP. Just for the sake of safety. This is a slightly larger cave than what we would be normally seeing. Especially at this point in the game. Uh, we'll go ahead and take this guy out. I missed. There you go. Two hits and then a slash. That was terrifying. Oh my gosh. 
This guy's stabbing me. What is happening? Why are you so strong? Back away! Okay. I'm grabbing all this. Give me all that. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. It's okay, though. We got a shortcut anyway. I don't care. Yep. Crack crystal. Dodge. Fight the controller a little bit. And then come right over here. Oh, I'm gonna get hit. Oh, damn it. My back. Okay. Whoo! He's big. Okay, he's doing his slam attack there. Slam a cow. Okay, we're gonna go over here. And then take this lift down. Please leave me alone. He jumped down. He literally jumped down. Don't. Weapon skill and a slash. No! Okay. <laughs> what is happening? These miners are pissed. I don't blame them because I am stealing all their hard work. But at this point, here's a somber smithing stone. Very cool. So I really, really, really hope that there is a stake of America that I'm just not seeing because I am going to have to face off with this boss and have absolutely like no, uh, <laughs> no fracking FP or health. That's fine. doesn't matter. It's just win. Crystallians. Yep, that's fine. Gotta heal up now. I'm just gonna go in for some backstabs in, in that case. Soften up the weak shell. Ooh, nice. Didn't expect that. That's okay. Get another backstab. I'm just gonna continuously backstab this one until uh, pretty much it realizes that it's gonna die. Lovely. And then it's gonna throw it. Yep. I figured you out, and now it's going to leave you open for a backstab. I'm going to continue doing this until I get my uh, my victory. One. Oh, you're not doing your second strike. Let's get a backstab. Okay, or not. Let's not just get killed then. Now we can get our backstab right here as he's trying to retrieve his ring. There you go. We're going to get a critical hit right here. I think we've softened up the shell just a smidge. Now go ahead and do this as well. Lovely. Dodge away. I'm going to throw the ring at some point. Oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> a nice little cheap attack at the end to finish me off. After we have actually just uh, destroyed its hard shell. It's okay though. Another weapon we could try and use is like something with strike, but I don't know if I have anything like that, like any kind of bludgeon type weapon. Matter of fact, I don't think I have any other I could use fists. I could use the fists, and that would be freaking awesome. Let's do that. I'm gonna two-hand this bad boy. Oh my gosh, they literally sent me all the way back here. No stake of America in sight. They literally want you to go through all of that alone. And that's fine. They give you a bit of a shortcut, but it's really not a good one, to be honest. Because you still have to go through the hardest part of this little area. And the whole time, our little friend's gonna be chasing us, right? Oh, he stopped. He didn't even aggro. We have two... Uh, I call them mages, but, or sorcerers, but, you know what I mean. They use the glintstone pseudo-magics. Drop down over here. Avoid those strikes. Avoid these uh, marionette soldiers. This should be the major way down. I'll as well get shot in the back. Okay, we're gonna go here, sprint through. Oh, I don't know what's over there. What's over there? Looks like there's some sweet, sweet loot over there. It's okay though. Let me go down this path. I am gonna send it back up again. Don't fall, please. Son of a mother. Oh, at least he died. <laughs> he died to fall damage. Okay, we're going to send it back up, just in case. 
Let's see if we can do any more damage with these strikes. With these uh, fists, anyways. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Whoa, that does a lot of damage already. Okay. We'll get a backstab again. Yeah, we're gonna beat them this time. Wow, the Kestis, they're not even leveled up. Do tons of damage. Backstab? Oh no, okay, why not? We'll get a critical. Can we finish him off? Nice, with a charged R2 as well. Whew, we got the Smithing Stone Miner's Bell bearing one. The Smithing Stone Miner's Bell bearing one. That's a lot of words. Gosh. Okay, let's see what's over here. Nothing. Okay, lovely. All right, let's get out of here. It's terrible. That never happened, guys. Never happened. Wow, that was with the case this too. So now we know that those crystallians, they uh, although they have really good resistance to anything other than you know strike. If you can strike them, they are gonna get hurt bad. All right, cool. That was great. I'm gonna leave this here just for it's good to know that this is where the bell bearing item was. Very good. Okay, so I'm marking these pretty much for future reference. Okay, so now. I can go back over here, go to the table of Lost Grace. We're going to bump up the, uh, our upgrade our weapons, I guess. And then, it's going to be all good. I only have 7,000 runes, so I should probably need to purchase as many of those as possible first. It's going to take quite a few to level up. So we're going to go to the Twin Maiden Husks. Offer a bell bearing. Now we have ones, twos, threes, and fours. Very nice. I don't know how many I need, so let's just do that for now and see what all it takes. They're probably going to require many more than that, but... I'm curious to know all the what I mean I can upgrade this thing as much as I need to I just need to find uh, more runes which I can get at any point in time as well so well I took you, my to I took you for dead strengthen the armament okay so yes smithing stone too yes Ooh, smithing stone three. I need more runes, which I can definitely get. I do have a celestial dew as well, which is just lovely. I'm not selling any of this then, I guess. All this looks special, except the runes, I don't need those. We'll go ahead and... How many do you want, sir? You're like making me poor. Okay. Strength and armament. This is a level 3 smithing stone. So then I need some level 4 smithing stones. Ooh. Okay. I like. Let's go buy some level 4 smithing stones. I think I'll need a handful of those. I haven't been paying attention to how many I need, but the thing is, we have an infinite amount, so it doesn't truly matter. I'll say I need four, I suppose. If I can get up to Uchigatana, you know, almost plus ten or beyond, shoot, we're going to be golden. Now, I know that the ancient, uh, well, we can't get past there just yet, but there is an ancient ruins of Zamor. 
There's another bell bearing there that lets me do uh, get fives and sixes. So. I need one more smithing stone four to get to Uchigata 911. Uh, yes. Let's go ahead and do that. The only thing that I'm not getting a true benefit of is I'm not getting a lot of scaling. But I'm level 1, so I'm not going to get good scaling anyways, to be honest. But it is sad, because I would like to have that that proper scaling, for sure. It would be really nice to have that additional bonus damage, but instead, it's going to be pretty much raw damage. And I can't change it to anything either, because I'm going to lose my unseath, or unsheath skill, and that would, you know, all my damage and the entire build would kind of go to waste. So I can't do that. I need 930 runes. That should do the trick. Wow, okay. And then to get to level 12, all we need is six smithing stone fours. Okay. And then I wonder how many after that. So it was like four, six, probably eight, four, six, eight, four, six, eight. All right, cool. So now we're dealing like 260, 250. I don't even, I can't do math, but it's, you know, we're doing 200 plus damage. Just kidding. 260 something damage. That's really good. Wow. Okay, cool. See, because if I did Ash of War, I, I lose my unsheathed skill, and I, and I refuse to do that, because that is literally how I'm able to defeat, defeat all the bosses I've been fighting here, so... Alright, all right, let's see if we can level up something else. I'm, I have zero runes now, but let me just, for the sake of my curiosity, see what it takes. This takes, oh, it's just standard smithing stones as well. And this crystal knife here does magic damage. It is a dagger. And I can definitely use that as well. But this dagger here allows me to parry, so. It would probably be useful to upgrade the Sword of St. Trina at some point, too. This causes sleep buildup. I will definitely do that. Insufficient runes. So I need more somber smithing stones. Uh, okay, makes sense. Yeah, we're going to bump that up for sure. I think I'm going to be primarily using those two weapons for sure. Maybe these three weapons, the Uchigatana, the Misericord, and the Sword of Saint Trina. Alright, cool. So now, let's go ahead and return. I feel like, at this point, I just have to win. So I'm going to go ahead and do as much damage as I can, give it a few attempts, and then I'm going to have some... What are we making? What are you making, babe? Oh my gosh, well, she's making pasta, and it smells so good. That smell has motivated me to win and then eat. And then I gotta play with my bros. They're wanting me to play, I think, either Destiny or Wonderlands. I'm not sure which one, but I might even stream that. You might not know who I'm talking to, and and it's perfectly fine. I don't want to have the party chat, because I don't want them to be like, Hey, blank's name. Because I don't want the world to know my name yet. So you'll hear me talking to these kids. These guys are awesome, though. We've been playing Destiny and uh, games together for the longest and even though we haven't played in I'd say probably at this point a year or two we have always stayed in touch we played ESO last that was what we played last and it was awesome but we were playing that game so we always play the game so wrong and then we figured out on our own individually and then we're like oh yeah I'm like max level here I did this it's like oh when we play together we play like trash but that's what makes it so much fun so I might actually stream that. Whether we play Tiny Tina's Wonderlands or Destiny, I'll make sure that uh, I, I'll probably put that on li like live. That way you guys can see it. I'll put it as just chatting. That way you guys can come if you want. You stay right there, horse man. Don't you do it. I'm going to use these guys even though they die really quickly. I didn't get my first hit in, that's fine. That was scary. 415 damage, I like that, it's a little bit better. It's more reasonable damage. I can definitely do this now, I literally doubled my damage, so. I feel good. Why can't I cast? Okay, I don't have enough FP. I'm dead. 
That's okay, though. What we're going to do is we're going to summon the ashes first. Hold on one second. Stake of America. Alrighty. Let's do this. We're going to summon the ashes first. Let's see. We'll give it uh, three more tries. Three more good old tries. We're going to do this. And then we're going to switch back over to this. And you guys aggroed him immediately. Why would you do that? They threw me off a little bit. They threw me off just a bit. That's okay. Fire. Now he's going to go kill them. No. <laughs> they are so annoying, though, so I don't blame him. I'd go and kill them first, too. Dodge. Your shield is not going to hurt me. I'm the juggernaut, Dodge. And he's going to die. Please don't use your arrows, bro. It's not going to work. We almost got him half health. That's, that's a first. Dodge. Got the AoE splash damage, I'm sure. Dodge. Oh, no. Gotta back away. That's terrifying. I think he killed my marionette now. Damage bubble. Yep. Oh, I can't see anything. That's cheap. That is so cheap. <laughs> the tree beat me. Okay? That is, the, the draconic tree something did not. The tree beat me. Second. Stake of Marika. It's Marika. I, I thought I always thought it was Marika. I'll call it Marika for a little bit. Instead of Murica. Her name is literally Murica. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. Alright. These guys are gonna piss them off. That's great. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna pop this flask. Let's go win. Please don't shoot him yet. Let me get my hit in first. Very nice. Why would that happen already? I lost my damage negation bubble immediately. Dodge. Waiting for that second strike. Okay. Dodge. That was terrifying. And dodge. And dodge. I can do this all day, Mr. Draconic Tree Sentinel Man. He got stunned there. I love how the marionettes actually, they do help a bit. Not just with aggro, but... Dodge, I'm about to die here. I lost my damage negation bubble way too early, so I, I'm a little frustrated about that. It's okay, though. We're going to go ahead and stun here, if possible. Oh my gosh, I had not seen that attack before. That's a uh, shield strike there. Dodge forward. We're not going to dodge because he's going to do a second strike, so I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm assuming he killed my uh, marionette somehow. Probably with fireballs. Dodge forward. going to wait for the second strike. Good gosh. I got the iframes. Needed those iframes, actually. That could have been very deadly. Dodge there. Dodge back. Come on, genius. I need you to sit still just for a moment, please. If you could commit to a very big strike. That's not going to cut it. That's not going to cut it. Dodge back. Okay. Yeah, without the aggro being pulled, I am in a bit of a pickle. I don't think I can summon other ashes. I've never seen that happen before. I died. Dodged a little bit too early. Whew. 
All right. Uh, Steak of America. We'll do two more attempts. And then at that point, I'll be able to at least start off the next stream taking down the Draconic Tree Sentinel and then making our way through Lanedale. Because this is... Uh, we didn't need to do that preparation. Had I just continued to try and grind this boss, I would have definitely been defeated. Um, and that was just not something I was looking forward to having happen. It would have just been a frustrating grind, and I'm not going to do that myself. Gotta enjoy it. Hey, we have to learn how we're we gonna do this. You know, whenever I do my actual run, it has to be risky, right? Gosh. Oh, come on. I didn't get the iframes there. It's okay. As long as he keeps his back, he gets fine. He's got his fireball. Dodge. We need to go ahead and flask up. Oh, no! I'm dead. <laughs> he changed direction. Did the Marianne die? No, they're still shooting him. Now they're dead. He's gonna go finish that one off. Maybe instead of the marionettes, I can use uh, the jellyfish summon since, since uh, she's so, you know, beefy. She's got a lot of health. So let me try that. She, they don't do nearly as much damage, but... And then I can always try another one of these I have here. Alright, come on. I think her name's Aurelia. She's named. A named Ash. We'll get a free hit in here. And we will find out if you get poisoned. I have not dodged that uh, horse rear multiple times over like the, the rearing attack. Not the horse's rear, but the rear of the horse. Dodge. Okay, no, I'm not. That'll work. That was a little baby hit, though. Didn't get to capitalize. Uh, oh, gosh. Capitalize on that, any Dodge. Dodge. Please don't kill my jellyfish. I panicked because I got staggered after that first hit. And I didn't time that second dodge right at all. That's alright. Okay, here goes. We're going to use a different Ash. We're going to try this one. The one that's supposed to be invincible. That's not. Going to get our hit in. Finally got the timing right. Shield bash. Dodge. He's dead, but as long as I keep the attention on me, which is fine. Right. Need to dodge these and wait so I can refill my FP flask. I got hit right in the face by that. He's doing like 18 to 10 damage at a time. That is... Oof. Oh, that's going to cut it. And he doesn't really hold aggro too well. I'll try and then I'll go back to the marionettes. We'll go ahead and pop our Flask of Wonders Physic. And here we go. Let's get our free hit in while he's aggroing. Nice. Got a little too greedy there. That's gonna kill him in one hit. That was incredible. The dragon, the, the horse dragon. No, don't, don't, don't do that. He killed him. No, he did. Rise! He's dead. Yeah, the AI is incredible, so I don't think that's going to work. He actually knows that if the skeletal militia, or the militia, militia, no, militia skeletal soldier is downed, he can destroy the remains to permanently kill him, and he will actively seek out to destroy those remains. That is so smart. I mean, the AI in this game is top-notch, especially when it comes to them changing up their attack patterns based on what you're doing, because these fools get cheap. They get real cheap. Now these are very expensive ashes, but at least I can use them. Alright, let's go and get some damage in here. Switch over to our Flask of Cerulean Tears. Dodge. Dodge. Oh, okay. 
Wow. Dude, they stun like crazy. But I don't want them to die yet. Do not die. One is dead. Okay. Oh, another one's dead. He's just destroying them right now. He gets pissed. He gets real pissed when he gets hurt. Dodge. There you go. We still have our damage negation bubble, which is great. I wish I could parry this guy. I can't parry too well in this game just yet. As it is, so but it'd be nice to be able to parry. You got a three hit combo, didn't you, you jerk? But I've got a nice little counter for all that as well, so it's fine. Dodge. Yep. Oh, fireball in the face. I'm getting it. I'm dodging those a bit too early for my taste. So I need to be a little bit more consistent with those. Back away. I can trade you with that combo the entire time, my friend. Now he's going to have a little bit more AoE. <laughs> a little bit more oomph to those strikes. Looks like he has, like, Dragon Lightning now. Oh, okay. Yep, that's the one that follows me. I guess the one where he has the aura around him is more so if he's just, like, you got to run out of that range. Okay. Alright, we're going to pop this. We're going to do this. And you've already pissed off the Draconic Tree Sentinel. These guys are so... They're that annoying. They even annoy the boss. Like, even the boss is like, these assholes. Oh, gosh. Okay. Good. Dodge. Waiting for that second strike. Thank you, sir. Again and again. Okay, dodge. Uh, looking for a second strike there, okay. Get the range out. I destroyed my damage negation bubble. Dodge here. Please keep the aggro on these guys. Ooh, he got me with a jab. And he had at some point destroyed one of the other marionettes, I'm assuming, with those fireballs. Yeah, they're gonna be better than the other ones, to be honest. They just shoot arrows like crazy. Alright, your last try. And then next stream we'll beat him and we'll break into Lanedale. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and defeat uh, Godfrey and Morgoth. Oops, I didn't even summon my bros yet. Good gosh. That was smart. That's okay. Take them to take early damage like this, but that's okay. Do it the old-fashioned way, aren't we? Darth Medic is now following. Thank you so much, my friend. Seems like I know this guy already. We're at 95 now, I think. Almost at 100, and I'm dead. Whew. Okay, last try. This is the last try, because I didn't even summon the marionette ashes at the proper proper timing so we're gonna do this real quick we're gonna end the stream and I'm gonna play with my bros yeah that was crazy draconic tree sentinel level level one is no joke all right let's go ahead and actually pop the ashes right now we're gonna summon these bad boys we're gonna get a flask of cerulean tears in our body and then we're gonna pop this flask of wonders physics so we can have at least one free hit and now let's go ahead and two-hand this. 415, that's not bad damage-wise. Dodge. Got the eye frames. Ooh, that was close. Very nice. We still have most of the aggro, which is good. Dodge. Please quit hitting my marionettes. He destroyed my damage negation bubble. Dodge. People are calling me. Oh my gosh, Dad, you killed me. <laughs> That's okay. Perfect time to end the stream. 
You guys are amazing. Darth Medic, thank you so much for following. You're amazing, bro. It's well overdue, I should say. But anyways, I'm just messing with you. Let's play some uh, Wonderland, shall we? Or maybe some Destiny. Oh, Wonderland's for sure, and then we can jump on, hopefully, Destiny if it downloads. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will be streaming uh, probably later tonight, if not first thing in the morning, with um, the, com the rest of this level 1 run. And then we'll pick back up the actual main or my first playthrough that I have yet to complete. Uh, Monday at 8 a.m. Anyways, hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Get outside and enjoy the weather. And until next time, it's the Inhuman One signing out.